Hello and welcome to the 500 workshop. Today we're going to remove the fuel tank, show you how to do that and put it back in. And um, we're doing that because we want to get access to other things behind the actual fuel tank. So sometimes it helps if it's out of the way. Um, now there's only really kind of three parts to this. Uh, the first is to remove the fuel hose and make that safe. Uh, the second is to remove the electrics um, and make sure they're safely out of the way. Um, and the third is that we have two straps down on either side of the uh, fuel tank and they need to come off and then we should be able to remove our fuel tank nice and easily. Um, one thing we are going to do as well is remove our wheel just so it's nicely out of the way don't have to do it but I want access to other things as well so just really easy to do this is we just take the strap off and we can lift the wheel straight out. So before I start any job especially where I'm going to remove any of the electrics first thing I like to do is take a picture of those electrics just so I know what went where, and we can refer to it later. The next thing I like to do, just because we are touching the electrics, is just disconnect the battery, and I've got a really easy mechanism to do it here with what we have fitted before, which is a disconnect. So that allows me to neutralize the battery there. And then, First thing we're going to do is move the fuel pipe. So we've got the correct fuel hose uh, crimp here and we just want to back that off. Normally you have to back it off quite a way and help it open a little bit so we can actually get over the top here. You just have to watch out for any fuel that's going to come back in the pipe but I haven't started it for a, a week or so so it should be okay. And slowly get this off. Gently it should come. There we go. Now I'm going to put this uh, hose pipe clamp on here. Sorry, not hose pipe, but uh, fuel pipe clamp on here. And then we'll just remove that. While we're at it, there's the uh, accelerator uh, cable. So we'll just, so it tells you what your acceleration is, not the actual uh, accelerator pedal cable. Um, we're just going to move that to one side as well. Um, just to make sure that we don't get any spillages when we lift it off I'm actually going to uh, attach a small piece of pipe on here but I'm going to need uh, another clamp so I'll get one of those. So I'm just going to take the connections off the top here, there's one. So these bolts on top of here are 7mm gonna unscrew that Just carefully take this off put the nut back on so we don't lose it we can just put this piece of pipe back over the top and just do it up. So the other end of this pipe has just got a bolt in there with uh, that's just clamped up so it shouldn't get any spillage we don't want it to evaporate either so this is just good practice to do this and there we go that's tight 
enough. So the final piece here is to remove the two bolts here. I believe they are a 13, which I have. So I'm just going to take our 13s and just undo the straps on each side. And that's coming out now. So the straps, let's just see if I can take you in a little bit so you can see. Here for a close up here. So we've removed the two uh, bolts, one this side and the other one with this side down there and if we look at the back these straps can we see there uh, this side's probably easier to see just hooked over a little hook at the back there so just going to lift up the bracket and we can remove it put that to one side and we'll do the other one so again just a little kind of hook that we can just Wiggle a little bit, that should come off. There we go. And there. So they're about both the uh, both the brackets are off now, and we should be able to remove the fuel tank. Okay. Now we're finally in the position where we can remove our fuel tank. So we're just going to pick it up from both sides gently and remove it. We'll put that to one side. And he is also kind of uh, meant to act as a fire shield, I believe, uh, that sits under the tank there as well. So we can uh, take that out and put that to one side. So that's our fuel tank removed. There you can see we've got nice a lot of room to do any other jobs we want to do. Done the jobs we want to do, now it's time to put the fuel tank back in the car. Now we've got this diagram here, let's see if we can take a bit of a look at here. So you can see here's the fuel tank and you can see here's the the kind of fire guard I believe it's called that uh, is at the back of the tank so that's where it needs to be uh, replaced again. Um, so what we're gonna do is lift the tank in, slot that behind, and then screw it down. So I've just got our fuel tank here. I'm gonna place it in carefully. That's not quite right, it needs to be up a little bit more. Here we go, there we go, that's better. Now we can slot our guard in behind. to lift up the tank, slot it in, and lower it back down. Now we get our brackets. And I'm just gonna hook these back on. 
This one is the right hand side one because uh, it's got the cable uh, ties that it's gonna that's gonna slot in. Okay. Just line this up. Okay, it's one. Just take the bolts out for a second. So then we've got our cover here, which you're gonna put in because the screws go through this bolt. Sorry, not the screws. Go through it. Just gonna roughly line this up where it should go. quite nice and neat now. So the trick here with the strap is to put a bolt through it first and don't worry about hooking it on the back. Push it through the rubber mat which is here and then get the bolt started. And then we're going to do this up. Tight, I'm going to push it over. There we go. And then we can do it up nice and tight. And then that strap's going nowhere. Cover under. There we go. So, same with this one. Might not be able to see that, this one as well, if at all, because of uh, things in the way. But we're going to. Start it off and get it nice and straight. Yeah, so it's going a little bit of an angle, feels a bit. Take a look here. Yeah, it's just a bit tight with the mat. nice and tight all in now we have to hook the things up that we need so we've got our fuel line here which we're going to take through here we're gonna put our speedo secure that in place so it goes there fuel line comes in it goes in here fuel hose clip here. Do it nice and tight. Okay. 
actually. I'm just going to take it back a second. We're going to go play it under here so it keeps the strap down. There we go. Better. Now we can push it on. Clip up. And do this nice and tight. Every time you think you can't do it anymore, there's normally at least half a turn left in it. I think that's good now. Got our fuel gauge. Just push it in there, push that to the back, and finally we'll take this under here. We have our earth. Try not to lose a nut. Washer on. Nut on. And that's a seven mil, so I just get a seven mil and uh, put it back on, and there we have our fuel tank back in. <laughs>